The Sci-Fi Channel's series, Helix, Episode 10, Fushigi, features an immortal saying, Tell him there are rules we must follow. There can be no more than 500. Tell him there are rules we must follow. There can be no more than 500. 500 what? Searching Google, I did not find the following mentioned anywhere else on blog posts or fan page comments. So I wanted to point out that I immediately heard this as a possible reference to the Georgia Guidestones. This mysterious monument, erected in 1980, includes ten principles, the first of which reads, 1. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Note that you have to remove about 93% of 7 billion to get to 500 million. I found this series on Netflix and watched, or listened, to it primarily to study the development of the pandemic zombie meme. Up until this episode, I found somewhat average, largely unimpressive, suspense-based, fear-mongering, and social conditioning teaching to obey in the case of CDC-style emergency. Got to let's out of here. This is kidnapping. I demand to talk to a lawyer. This is a public health crisis. The CDC has full jurisdiction. <laughs> I did notice the good guys successfully using an LRAD, uh, modern police crowd control weapon, in episode 8, but this was the first line which caught what little the esoteric side of my ears can pick up. There are rules we must follow. There can be no more than 500. 500 what? I was very surprised not to find a rash of comments regarding this likely reference, given the show's plot of a planned elite corporate military bioweapon genocide with a cure for the few. If not a direct reference to population control and man-made viral genocide, how close might the 500 number be to the central families of the world, passing down top of the food chain power through a relatively controlled genetic line? I've heard countless vague claims that the inner controllers of the world can sit around one table but never heard the number at 500. Corporate persons are indeed immortal, and there is a list of the Fortune 500, but no presumed limit to the number. On the lighter side of interpretations, the mental viruses of ideas, or memes, continue to aggressively spread amongst the masses, like the belief in the just power of a state, keeping, quote, mortals in their place. Either way, this particular line of dialogue an element of the narrative hit me like a half ton of bricks. Perhaps sci-fi regulars, and TV viewers generally, should balance a bit more fact in their informational diet to get much more food for thought from their fiction of choice. Most programming, especially science fiction, often drives home far more conditioning than entertainment. For example, read Brave New World and look around. <laughs>